And welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Swords. Yeah. And we're going to go take a look at the completed Fire Lookout Tower. Yes, we are. Look at that. All right. So let's go. And if you like what you see here, please consider liking and subscribing. Greatly appreciated. Look at that. There's a shark. Hey, Mr. Shark. Just chilling. Yep. He's just chilling. And we hit a new milestone today on the Richard Jeffries Mind Test channel. 200 subscribers. Oh, wait, wait. I forgot. Where's it at? Okay. It won't let me do it. You know, that's my day. That is my whole day. <laughs> exactly. There we go. 200 subscribers. And <laughs> we start off with a failure. And it's almost going bit. Uh, okay. That. How about that for lag? Look at that. Look at the tower. We're going over there. If I could. If I could stop with the failures. Oh my. Oh yeah. Okay. Here it is. Here's the completed fire watchtower. And we'll do a quick fly around. And there's the there's a little residence there. Um for the people that work there. It's now handicapped accessible. There is an elevator. We have transmission lines we even have an airline airport beacon which is required for any structure over 100 feet yes okay so let's go take a look at said residence i haven't figured out how how people are going to get there because off in that direction is the northern train station so ow so they could just get there by that. Um, this is one side. Look how tall that is. Is that cool or what? And got some apple treeage going on here. The horses like it. I accidentally put the trees in the wrong place. But since the northern train station is over there, I think I can do like a, like a gravel road, a dirt road over here. Because this is how you would access this. And we have like a little... Um, Radio transmitter, electric box set up here with conduit going up and stairway. Yeah, real pretty atmosphere. So let's go take a look at the residence real quick. Using all C doors. Very nice. Got this real nice atmosphere. Hey, those are my thin flower planters. Yes. And now that I'm understanding Blender a little bit better, um, it's getting a little easier to assign materials and stuff like that. So that'll be in an upcoming episode. Here is a nice little bedroom with a little entrance to, the, uh, to a little deck. I decided to use all furniture from home decor in this one because of the limited space. So we have a bed desk, computer, wardrobe, all your standard stuff. And I use the couches because in this, I think it fit. And I wanted to carry the theme of the wood. So it worked. So we have, we have a nice little uh, patio area, balcony area going on. It's a very small, it's not meant, it's like a cabin. So, you know, a couple of the employees rest area, you got a bedroom. Look at that tile. That's from the new 
Richard Jeffrey's bathroom tile collection. Yes, it is. You know I had to, I had to do that. It still leaks. <laughs> okay, enough of that. But yeah, I created this using the mosaic filter and I finally got it to a point where I liked it. It's a little, it's a little busy, a little bright, so I'm working on that. But I think it fits with the, with the browns on the one wall. And then we have a little, little bitty, little bitty kitchen. Nothing major. But like I said, I, I decided to use all the uh, home decor stuff because in this situation, it fits and it looks really nice. All right. So that is the, that is the residence. And now we are going to go up and take a look at the fire tower. We'll use the elevator too. So you go up these stairs. And if, as you saw in the, uh, the Google search photos that I had, they had stairs going all the way up. Wow, look at that view. Look at the views. See what we can see over there. There's the luxury resort. And I don't think, because I, I mistakenly planted these trees, we can't see the northern train station, and I could. So you come up here. We're at the very, very tip top. Well, I'll show you that in a second. Yeah, there's. you can see the parking lot of the train station, but the tree that I inadvertently placed there kind of ruined the view. So we have, and it looks like, it looks like fog. We are so high up. So we have this watchtower, which gives the perfect um, viewing angle of everywhere in the, the two different forests, which is very cool. Come inside here. It's floor to ceiling windows to unobstruct the view. We have a little desk workout area for two people. Again, I use the home decor chairs because they just fit with my desk some computers, two track, and there's a little um, ladder to get up to the antennas, and a trap door. So we have some radio transmission antennas. I'm, I'm working on, I want to try to create like a microwave, um, a squarish microwave dish to put up here, because you'll see the antennas, and a aircraft beacon. And I believe this is from the street or the streets mod or the infrastructure mod. Let's see. I thought that beacon was in there. I, I guess it's not. It looks like it's in the infrastructure. There it is. Aircraft warning light. Very nice. And that's a traffic cone. I was looking for um, a danger sign to put on that uh, radio equipment down at the bottom. I don't see anything that would... I'm, uh, I'm probably going to have to create one. Yes. Uh, that's, that is the cool thing about this game. Now that I'm getting to a level, I'm getting more comfortable with the modding. Um, I want to create a bunch of signs and, uh, different, just different stuff that you would see in real life. So that is, that is the completed watchtower, the fire watchtower. And it looks really cool. At night, you will see an owl. A nice little beacon. I wish the beacon, I wish there was a way of making that beacon um, more visible. But it's really, really neat. So I, I, I had a lot of, I had fun with this, mod, with this uh, build, except there were a lot of 
there were a lot of trying times trying to get everything to fit right. So I do like the way all the the um, the, the stairs went. And I tried to make it realistic to, you know, what would be, what would you see coming up here? Obviously, there's no bathroom up here because where are you going to put it? Not too many people would be able to see you, but, you know, you can't put, the, the whole purpose of this is an uninstructed view of all the surrounding forest. So we come in the elevator and let's go down to, this is cool. I kind of wish it, it had, you know, I might try to build some more sheeting around it to give it, to give it a cool look, but I like it. And I'm going to put, this is where I want to put like a, like a danger sign or a warning sign. And then I'm going to try to find something to put in here. However, by doing it using these blocks from the uh, circular saw, I can't put anything inside here. So I have to work on that. Because I wanna, I wanna put something inside here, and what that would mean is that I could use um, tiles on the outside, but I would have to move it. I would have to move it away. So I'm working on that to make that look more realistic. Something that you would, and you actually see this where I used to work. They had a um, a cell tower on the property, and they had a they had a, a little bitty building with an air conditioner. And that would feed all the radio equipment. So, and like I said, these are new tiles. That's another version of the new tile. I like this one because I like the glossiness of it. And I can't remember, I can't figure out how I did that. How I was able to, um, I stumbled on it. This one, this one, it's got the glossiness to it too. So, I'm going to have to play with it because... What I'm going to do is, uh, in the next couple, um, in the next week, I am going to sort out my flower planters and get my finished versions and my new decorative, uh, decorative tile blocks and everything else so I can upload them onto another GitHub pro project. And then everybody can tear them apart, look at them, give pointers. Because the whole, the whole idea, you know, I am, not, I am not by any means an artist. However, one way to learn is to have other, others critique your, you know, your art. And, you know, to get to the level of some of these modders, um, like Too Many Notes, uh, his Art Deco mod, I use a lot of stuff from that. And the Sea Doors. And to get to that, to get to that level, there's not a lot of, um, tutorials. The, the tutorials I'm looking for, like on Blender and on GIMP, they only get you so far and there's specific questions on, you know, resolutions and, and how to get them to the 128 by 128 and still, you know, get them down to lower resolutions and still make them look good. So I have a lot, there's a lot of learning. And now that it's becoming easier, I find that I use um, less offensive words <laughs> during my process of working with Blender and GIMP. And let me tell you, I, I, I watched tutorials from about five different channels. Um, and it's... Uh, it's just now starting, I, I'm, I'm having a lot of those, oh, that's how they do that. I mean, for the life of me, I, I couldn't get materials to assign. And I'd watch Nathan's tutorial on texturing, and it, it wasn't until I saw one, um, one tutorial where it goes, you assign, you know, you add your, add your texture and you do this, this, and this. And then I looked up and I clicked on the little texture button. I went, oh, well, that was easy. So it's getting there. I just love taking this elevator. If nothing else, just to take the elevator, especially in the, um, like in the factory where I had um, the mine 
with the elevator going down. There's something oddly satisfying about going up and down that said elevator. So yeah, it's getting there. And this way, and hopefully some of, some of the blocks that I create and come up with, there's also um, a couple pictures that I've found. And I want to do sort of like a Minecraft type, how they do their, their pictures on the wall. So you'd place your frame and then they right click on the picture and it'll change the picture. And I think that can be done. So yeah, if not, you know, like in, like in the inventory, um, under paintings, you see all the different paintings. But there should be a way where you could just take one painting and after you place it, right click on it or do some kind of key press that you would be able to change the picture inside of it. Not necessarily the size, but you know, you, you could have two different sizes. So I'm working on that. So, so far in my mod, I have the giant mutated donuts exploding sprinkles i have these two tiles are pretty cool that's a that's a tile with a little bit of texture that i'm playing with it's it they're pitted so it has a lot of i i like that so that has a lot of uh potential except you can see how i screwed up the um i just saw that how i screwed that up it create it's not seamless. Oh well, back to the drawing board. Um, my thin flower planter, which is very nice, and uh, another flower. Where's the, that one's? Pretty. I think these two. I'm still working on. I have to color that one. That's sad. There's a, there's that's a thicker based one. The marble didn't turn out good, so I'm still playing with that. And that one looks a little better. So I do have a couple that are to the point where I can show them off and and give the blend flot, blend files and um, you know all the project files so they can be kind of critiqued or expanded upon so it, it's real and i flew through a tree so it's coming along so yeah i was hoping that there would be more contrast between the red and the brown i'm gonna have to look at that but there you have it you have the um the fire lookout station with just enough i think it's just enough detail so it doesn't kind of become unrealistic. But yeah. And we're going to need a watchtower like this because the next video, uh, there was a couple of videos a while back where I think it was the uh, forest house where I had the uh, Ferrari and the Porsche inside the garage. And, and there was a commenter about you should have a plane. And there are private residences, especially in Illinois, where they have, they, instead of a garage, they have an airport hangar. So, what I'm going to do is, off of the orchard, I'm going to build a hangar and use the uh, vehicles mod, the, uh, the, the jet and the helicopter. Because every, every orchard owner... <laughs> it's a helicopter and a private jet. So there you have it. It's, it's, this is pretty simple. It's just making everything fit. And there's, a, you, there's the uh, northern train station. So I'm happy with it. Being that this is a block building game, it's kind of hard to make the X braces in between the tower. But... Yeah, it worked out. So there you go. We have... We have our watchtower. 
and the little residence for the people that work here. And the sun's going down, which means I'm over time as usual, trying to make these videos shorter. And we have bees. All right. So that's going to do it. Um, yeah. Let me know what you think in the, again, in the, in the comments and go from there. So that's so cool. I wish I would have worked a little bit more on the proportions of the building, but I think it suits, I think it suits exactly what the purpose of this building is supposed to be for the people that are working on the tower. They can come down, relax, eat, use the facilities, the washrooms. Um, yeah. And just hang out while looking out for fires. All right. So thank you very much. That's going to do it until the next episode. And we hit zero degrees again in Chicago. So, hmm, and we're supposed to get snow. So hopefully today is February 2nd and, oh, this video is not going out. Um, yeah, I don't know what the groundhog is going to see. If the groundhog is going to see his shadow or not. I'm, I'm done with winter. <laughs> so <laughs> winter can go bye-bye um, in a heartbeat. So, all right. Thank you. Thank you again. And I'm greatly appreciative that we hit 200 subscribers. That is a new milestone for the channel. And, um, yeah, where's the moon at? I know there's a moon around here. There it is. There's the moon. All right. Everybody stay warm, safe, and, uh, have a great week until next video. Goodbye.